All right, so if you've been looking for that next just great, fun Indiana Jones adventure, I think I found it for you. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. All right, so the Uncharted series is exclusively for the PlayStation 3. Don't whine, Xbox people, you still have Halo. Uncharted Drake's Fortune is the story of Nathan Drake who believes that he is the last living descendant of Sir Francis Drake. Yeah, you know the guy who looks like the Burger King? Yeah, that guy. And he has set out to find what Sir Francis Drake was apparently looking for, El Dorado. And to all you people who are gonna be like, um, actually, Sir Francis Drake never actually looked for El Dorado. Well, as Nathan Drake once said, well, history can't be wrong, you know. But I personally was like, all right, the El Dorado thing, I've seen it a hundred times before. How can this be new and interesting? But it really is. For me, the moment that title screen queued up and the music started playing, the Uncharted theme, I was like, dude, this is gonna be awesome. Just from the theme, I knew. And I was right. And a lot of that gets credited to Nolan North, the guy who voices Nathan Drake. Because when I first heard the game, I was like, dude, is that Nathan Fillion from Firefly? Totally sounds like him. And it absolutely does. The character Nathan Drake must have been based off of Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly. Except Nathan Drake is a little less damaged. He's like all the fun of Malcolm Reynolds without any of the damage. So it's all good in his world. And so when you set off to find El Dorado, you gotta solve a bunch of temple puzzles. A lot of it relies on jumping from point A to point B. I mean, the guy's like a monkey. He must have the craziest upper body strength because that guy can climb anything. Thing. And yeah, you have a lot of other people looking for El Dorado also, and they have guns, and Nathan Drake throws down. There's something about these archaeologist treasure hunter types. Indiana Jones, Nathan Drake, they can all snap necks with the best of them. Yeah, Nathan Drake's a badass. Now, the weapon system you've seen a few times over. You can have your two-handed gun, like a shotgun, an AK-47, whatever, and a one-handed gun, magnum, nine millimeter, whatever, but you can only have one of each at any given time. Sometimes it aggravates me, because I'm one of those I want the best of all worlds kind of people. I want my rocket launcher, my shotgun, my AK-47, my nine millimeter, my magnum, my Uzi. I want at all. I know that would severely break the game, so I understand why they do it this way, but you won't keep me from bitching about it. You pop headshots, you don't need shotguns or any of that shit. And since you're never being pursued by Ray Park from Sleepy Hollow, it's all good. Headshots all the way. Love them headshots. And the environments are really cool. It's a lot of tropical stuff. Getting around can be kind of annoying. It does the basic 3D camera thing where you need to jump from point A to point B, like across the pit onto like a two by four, and you can't swing the camera behind them because there's like a wall right there. Great, I gotta jump across this pit at like a 76 degree angle. Let's do that with an analog controller. I'm gonna die. And you do and you hate it, but it only happens a couple times, so it doesn't compromise too much of the fun. The puzzles are never really hard. There are never those puzzles that you're like, I don't even know how to solve this. This is bullshit. There are a couple scenes where you're like, this is so cheap, it's stupid. It happens a couple times in the game. One part in particular is the very end of the game. It's like three phases. You just got to take the guys out, but it's so cheap, it'll aggravate you. Which means Uncharted goes from, dude, this is a great game. Every PlayStation 3 owner should have one. It's this is awesome. Two, this is so cheap, it's stupid. Quite the night and day scenario. But great script, cool adventure, clever dialogue, funny dialogue. It's like modern Indiana Jones without the fridge that survives a nuke, because that would be stupid. Nathan Drake is the guy that every guy wants to be. The graphics are a little dated. It came out a few years ago, so they're not as detailed as games nowadays are. But when everything else about the game makes you forget about that, that's something good. The Uncharted games, man. If you have a PlayStation 3, you should have Uncharted Drake's Fortune. And have you played Uncharted? What did you think about it? Comment below. Let me know. And stay tuned next week, which kind of makes me sound like a network television station when I say it like that, when I review Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. And if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.